Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist, a Monette brand partner, and a lover of all things beauty. So here on my channel, I do a variety of different videos, mostly related to makeup, beauty, skincare, kind of a skincare junkie. Uh, do a little bit of fashion, just a little bit of everything. So I have a hot mess express going on over here. We just moved back into our house because we had our wood floors completed. Um, my face has been super crazy this past week because I have been drinking too much alcohol and not washing my face at night. So yeah, this is what we got working. But I wanted to go ahead and jump on here and kind of do a talk through of like a dry skin routine. One thing that I've noticed is the more alcohol I drink, the drier my skin becomes. So I have, I would say normal to dry skin with a tendency of being more dry. And I have strove, strived, striven, striven? No, I don't know. I have, I'm trying to think of another word. I don't even know what the, the proper English word for that. But I've really, really dedicated myself to trying to specialize or cr create a skincare routine for my skin to make it more on the normal side. And I have been doing really, really well. I wash my face every night. I have a skincare regimen that I like, um, that is easy to do, that I remember to do every single night and in the morning. I do hydrofacials every month um, and I drink a crap ton of water. And one thing that I noticed is that the more alcohol I drink, the tendency for my face to be more dry. So that is what this week has been. I've been just under a lot of stress and so just drinking a little bit too much wine. So it is more on the dry side. So I kind of wanted to talk through Saint makeup. So if you don't know what Saint is, um, it is a all-in-one compact uh, system. It's super dirty. Like I don't even know why I buy white because you can see like I, I, I am a clean person normally, but yeah, this is disgusting. But this is everything that I need for my full face, all in one compact. So this is literally everything for my face, different cheek colors, and then my eye makeup and stuff like that. So I have more, but this is, you can buy small palettes like this. You can buy bigger palettes. It really is customized to whatever you want. So obviously this is extreme for somebody who maybe is just starting out in the makeup world or somebody who doesn't wear a lot of makeup. Because I'm a Saint artist, I, I, I want to have everything and I wanna try different things. So. It is 100% customizable. So what I wanted to kind of talk through is prepping the skin and what I love about the Saint makeup. And you can see all this redness. You can see my dark eye circles and how well it covers up. Now, I started using Saint about two years ago. And when I first used it, I really, really liked it. But then I kind of just went off into other things and started using other foundations. And then about a year and a half ago, I came back to it and I was like, what the heck have I been doing? This stuff is amazing. Um, and my skin at that time was probably at its worst. I had very, very dry, flaky skin around my nose on like pretty much my whole T-zone was just a desert, like very mummy dry. And then everything else I would say is was more normal. And I was just jumping from foundation to foundation, tinted creams and BB creams and CC creams and tinted moisturizers and just trying to do anything and everything to help make my skin look less dry and to find makeup that worked with my skin tight at that time. And when I started using Sane again, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I used it for six months and then a year ago, um, year ago in January, I became a Saint artist because it is really where my passion is. I feel like this makeup has, I hate to say, be dramatic and be like, change my life. You know, I mean, obviously it's not a spiritual thing that I'm experiencing, but it really did change the way I did my makeup. It made me feel more confident and I really, really started enjoying my skin afterwards. One of the things I like about this uh, Saint makeup is it almost creates a barrier for your face. So as I'm putting stuff on, as I'm putting on my skincare and my vitamin C and my moisturizer, when I go to put my Saint makeup on, it like creates a barrier. So it keeps all that skincare stuff in, but it also helps block out everything that's trying to suck everything out. So you've got, you know, you've got free radicals, you've got 
you know, the sun, you've got uh, the dryness in the air, whatever it is, there's always stuff that's trying to, you know, suck the life out of your skin or suck the moisture out of your skin. And that's one of the things I noticed with Saint is on the days that I didn't wear makeup, I still did my skincare, but I didn't wear Saint. My skin looked worse than on the days, like when I washed it at the end of the night, I was like, oh my gosh, it, it looks angry and inflamed and, and more dry. And then on the days that I actually wore Saint, it looked plumper and fuller and less dry. And so I started noticing that my Saint makeup was actually creating a barrier and helping my skincare stay where it needed to be and help kind of create a, a barrier or a block for everything else. So I started using it every single day. So even on the days that I wasn't going anywhere, I just sweep a light coverage on and I just would get those benefits of, of creating that, that protection on my skin. So even though I wouldn't call it a skincare product, I still think that it really helps work with your skincare routine. And I personally, that is my experience. And that's why I became a Saint artist because I was like, oh my gosh, this this really did change my makeup routine. So there are a couple of things. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about with dry skin is prepping. And I think prepping is key. Now, if you have dry or, or if you have normal or oily skin, I don't think that prepping like a primer is necessarily going to benefit you. You may wanna use a primer to mattify your skin if you're oily, just kind of tone it down. Um, or, if, But if you're normal, the biggest thing for you is just going to be to moisturize and finding a thick moisture cream, like a moisturizer is, is really key. So you wanna make sure that your skin is super moisturized when you go to use cream foundation, the 3, 3D foundation. It's going to help the product go on more. Um, and it's just going to work better. So if your skin is super, super dry, then you're going to have to take steps to kind of help that makeup apply a little bit easier. So one of the um, creams that I like that I've been using is Youth for the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. It's supposed to strengthen, firm, moisturize as plant proteins and biotech collagen. So I've been using this, I really like it. It does not have SPF in it. So what I do is I add SPF on it. And so if you are dry, I really, really like this. I mean, you could see it's almost done. This is the First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide and it's got SPF 34, 30. It's got SPF 30 in it. I like this because this is going to help moisturize. So I usually I use the Mary Kay um, TimeWise Repair and I do really, really like that one. I just ran out of it. So I've been using the Youth of the People, but you wanna use a thicker moisturizer and then go in with sunscreen that's moisturized as well. Um, and then that will help kind of prep your skin. Now, if you are more normal dry, like you don't have those dry flakies, the flakes, then I think you can go in just uh, with the Saint and not have to apply anything else. But if you're not, if you do have those dry flakes, one of the things that I recommend, like literally changed my skin is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Oil Perfecting, Skin Perfecting Primer. So this is an oil. It feels marvelous on, on your skin. So it comes out, it is thick, like obviously it's an oil, but it's kind of like a thicker oil. And what I love about it is, it is going to help moisturize those flakes. So when you go in and you apply your Saint foundation, the 3D foundation, it's going to help moisturize it so the cream product doesn't kind of get stuck in those flakes. I recommended this to every single person that reached out to me that said dry skin, I have the flakes or whatever, this is a, a, a big thing. Even if you're not using 3D foundation, I still would recommend it. It just leaves your skin super, super glowy, super, super dewy. Now. Some people don't like that dewy glow. One of the things with Saint is it does have a little bit of dewiness in it. And a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people aren't used to that. They're used to kind of that mattifying. Now you can use a powder to, to soften up those areas, um, but the Saint foundation itself is going to kind of give you that glow within. I personally think it's beautiful. I, when I see somebody who has a super matte face, to me, it reminds me of a mummy. It reminds me, it just is not natural looking to me. Um, when I see somebody who has that kind of glowy, a little bit of dewiness on their skin, to me, it looks natural. They look radiant. And maybe because I have dry skin, I'm like jealous. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what I want. This stuff gives you, like the Saint Foundation will give you that glowy radiance, but this will kick it up a notch. 
Now, if you don't want your whole face looking like a disco ball, which, you know, sometimes I, like I'm starting to get where I like it a little bit more natural looking. Um, but before I was like, put it on, I don't care. And you know, it was like, clean, 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 clean. I didn't even need no highlighter. But um, if you don't want that, then what I would say is take this and then just put it, like I would put it around my nose because that's where my dry flakes were. And then up in here, for whatever reason, in my eyebrows, I would get all flaky and then right around here. So I would just put it on the areas where I had those dry flakes. It would help moisturize and then I would go in. Another foundation or primer that I like is the Mary Kay Foundation Primer. This one I like because it kind of has a silicone feel to it. It kind of feels, it doesn't have silicone in it, but it kind of like makes your face feel like a baby's butt. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. It just like goes on and it works really, really well with a Saint foundation, just helping you give more of that gliding effect. Now, one thing that I always hear from people about Saint foundation is like, oh, well, they go in and they think that it's going to apply like liquid and it doesn't. There is a different method that you have to apply. You can't smear it all over your face. You gotta do the stippling kind of smear method at the same time. So it takes a little bit, I don't wanna say getting used to like a learning curve, but it's just like you have to go in with a different method. Um, I feel like this one helps mimic a little bit more or helps the Saint products to mimic a little bit more like liquid foundation. So if you're struggling with the Saint foundation and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, Try to get a primer like this that has doesn't have silicone in it, but has that silicone feel, and it might help you apply the Saint Foundation a little bit better. So I'm gonna go um, go ahead and do my makeup. I know this video is super long by there, but I just felt like for dry skin, it's really really helpful to kind of prep your skin, and that's really what I wanted to talk about today is just prepping your skin for cream foundation that's gonna be amazing for dry skin. But if you need a little bit more help, those type of things will help you. So hopefully, hopefully it did. Let me know if you have any questions. If you are looking to change up your makeup routine and you're like, hey, this sounds interesting, but I've got some questions or I need to clarify, hit me up. I promise you, I'm not gonna spam you. I'm not gonna you know, attack you to try the product. I'm here as a support. Um, so if you have any questions or if you need any assistance or you're not sure, hit me up. Let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation and see if this is right for you. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Until next time. Bye.